morning, good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Okay. We're going to be looking at our regular pairs today. Okay. Right, yo, let me just um, feel free to share the link, guys. Feel free to share the link. Feel free to share the link. And if you're here, say hello to me. <laughs> so I know you are there for sure. Right, yo. Let's see what we've got today. Now, the market is moving powerfully today, like I thought it would. You know, after all the, um, the sluggishness yesterday, Everything is moving today powerfully. The DAX is moving. Euro, Aussie dollar is moving. And all the rest of it. So obviously we have to be careful when, when the, the market is moving like that. Obviously it calls for caution. Okay. Hello, good morning. Dope X Phoenix, good morning, good morning. Good morning, um, Given. Okay, so let's, let's see what we've got today. Right, let's, uh, let's start with, uh, now this is um, the pound USD. You know, for those of you who trade price action, obviously, um, or those who know price action, you know, you might be tempted to um, to sell run about here, you know, but let's see how it goes. You know, I usually would wait for, you know, at least two candles to, to push in the same direction, at least, um, well, after this candle, you know, this, you know, some, you could, some could refer to this as a gravestone, others could call it, uh, kangaroo tail and all that, you know, but let's see, let's watch that area carefully. Let's just watch the area carefully. I mean, this is uh, the London session. It starts like I was trying to explain yesterday. The London session starts at eight and um, the Euro session starts at seven. That's, you know, UK time. You will say seven o'clock. So let's watch these two areas. I'll keep an eye on this area. You know, um, it is somewhat a, of a range run about here. You know, I know some, would want to place this here as uh, resistance, you know, but we need to factor that week as well. We need to factor in that week as well. I tend to, I tend to factor in that week. Otherwise you could do it like so. So I would want to see price, you know, come out of this area. This is the five minute time frame. 
you know, before I sell or buy for that matter. Okay, so um, I tend to consider USD card as well. USD card. So that's USD card. We took some trades yesterday. You know, this was one of them. You know, you can see that was a loss, a 25 pip loss, but we won. Um, we won the Euro Aussie dollar. So you can see we won the Euro Aussie dollar. You know, we got in here. Now, by the time we logged, I logged, I came on in the morning, you know, um, the price was, the price had moved. You know, this would have been the ideal entry, like I did say, the price had moved. It went there. And like you can see here, I said to wait for a pullback and we got the pullback. It gave us that, that much or that much, which was like TP1. So we won the Euro um, Aussie dollar, but lost USD card. Now today, this is where we are. <clears throat> you know, we were also looking at, um, We did also consider Euro JPY as well. We also considered Euro JPY. You know, but it did not trigger. It did not trigger for us for us. You know, um, let's 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 show you the Euro JPY. Euro JPY. So that's basically what we were looking at yesterday. It didn't trigger for us, so you know, um, it was a no, no trade. The idea was that it will pull back to this area, but it did not. So let's delete that and move forward for today. We'll keep an eye on that, on that today. I'll be doing, I'll be explaining my, um, I'll be explaining what I'll be doing today as per trade. Well, let's go to USD card first, or rather let's go to Euro Aussie dollar, you know, because that's one I'll be looking to trade. Starting with the day with the daily, you know, like I did also say yesterday, like I always say, I mean, it doesn't matter what the overall trend is. I mean, I know people um, love to trade, you know, go with the overall trend, which is good, which is fine. But you know, you can actually also get um, trades which are counter trade, counter trend trades. This is um, the daily time frame. Let's just make this smaller. So I mean, I don't so much focus on the on the daily or the higher time frames as such. You know, I would just look at you know the five or the fifteen, and that usually is enough for me with regards to my strategy. You know, so let's let's start with the five and the fifteen, for instance. And like I was explaining yesterday, you know, one thing we should note is that um, one thing that we should note as traders is that whenever you see the price push in one direction, like so, you know, expect, you know, 
Usually, I would say wait for a pullback before, you know, um, if you're buying. In this case, as the price has pushed all the way from this, you know, um, lows, it's good to wait for a pullback if you're going to buy, if you're going to continue in the same direction. You know, you don't want it to be that it's when you jump in that the price now moves against you. You know, let me just um, mark out the chart first, mark out key levels, you know, first, and I would then um, come shed some more light on what I am doing. <laughs> By the way, for those who are interested in, um, you know, trying out, you know, uh, well, having access, not trying out, you know, I do have a custom indicator which tends to give signals, you know, um, very early during the London session. Obviously, it gives signals at various times of the day. But, you know, because the London session is like the start of the day, well, in a sense, not, not necessarily the European. I mean, European session, London session, I would, I would say, you know, usually between 8 and 10, you would most likely get a signal. That's UK time, by the way. Or London session, you know, usually between you know um, the hours of eight in the morning and ten, you would normally get a signal. So the market has moved significantly already, but that's fine. I mean, it's not to be as, it's, it's not strange when you see Euro AUD and Euro New Zealand dollar move like, you know, 200 pips in a day, 150 pips in a day. So you can see, you know, Right from the, um, the 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 Asian session, it's already moved well since the beginning, really, of the the Euro session. It's already moved by over seventy pips, but that's fine. So let's see what goes on here. Those are the the two areas I've been looking at with this one. I mean, even if we don't get a trade during the course of um, my, my live session here today, I would be looking to post some signals, you know, post some signals in the Telegram group. Right, right, right. USD card, we could take that off, or we'll be taking that off soon. Okay, I mean, let's look at USD card again. We're most likely gonna be getting a, a signal on that one soon. I haven't even looked at the news for the day. I haven't even considered the news for the day. Now we know, you know, um, I believe the the UK Prime Minister is going to be sworn in today. She was chosen yesterday. You know, the results of her election was yesterday, so she's going to be anointed, like they say, by the Queen today. You know, so we'll be we'll be looking out for that. I mean, um, I believe she would probably go on to you know, tell us a bit more of her plans in, in, in more detail than she has done. 
and you know um, maybe begin to tell us who members of her cabinet are you know that you know would most likely move the price i don't know but we have to be mindful of that so anyway this is um the news for the day this is you know um the time set to uk time um uh, so yeah i mean we, we won't bother with these ones this red folder events because they've They've played out already, I think. The one we are going to be mindful of now are the US. Okay, there is a number of, um, okay, there's the US PMI later on today are three. So that's fine. We're still fine. We're still good with that. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm looking at the wrong page. I'm not. Um, I'm not, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Let me show you, let me show you what I'm seeing, guys. <coughs> okay, okay, so that's what I was looking at. So this is set to UK time. You can see, you know, the red folder events, which are what you take note of. Those ones have played out 5.30. That was um, during the Asian session. So what, what we are going to be mindful of today is um, this one, you know, which is going to be at three o'clock UK time, um, the US PMI. So I won't bother with that much. Hopefully this um, particular one would not affect us. Sorry about that. I, I had to sneeze. <laughs> so hopefully this um, construction PMI would not affect you know the pound. So we are we are most likely good with that. Let's take that off. Um, so we're looking at this. We were looking at this one. Let's just have a look at the daily. Let's see the daily time frame. I've got so many lines, there, don't I? Okay. Okay, so there was some sort of, um, it is at some sort of resistance. <clears throat> so that's what's going, yeah, that's what's going on there. Some sort of um, resistance there, okay. That's fine. What's really of interest to me <clears throat> what's really of interest to me is going to be this five minute time frame. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> right, Chio. Patience is the name of the game, guys. Patience is the name of the game. For those who have traded with me before, you know how it is the case that, you know, we've waited patiently and it paid out. It, it paid, it paid well. It paid.
<clears throat> so I'll be looking for a sell, you know, when price breaks below here, breaks below these two lines, you know, um, decisively. If it breaks below here, I'll be looking to sell. If it breaks above there, I'll be looking to buy. You know, this is a um, USD card. Now, <coughs> the other pairs we're looking at include this one. I mean, this range is huge though. It is huge. Okay, so pound USD. Let's check some stuff. I do tend to look at gold as well, you know. Um, so we'll check out gold soon. We'll check out gold shortly as well. And of course, my the DAX. The DAX. <clears throat> now, the, the DAX has given a, a signal, you know, um, for those who are part of my membership, um, the VIP membership, the DAX has issued, the DAX has issued, um, The DAX has issued a signal already. The DAX has issued a signal for those who are members, you know, kindly look at that if it's a trade you want to jump into. All right, okay. Interesting, let me see. Now, one of our members says, you know, she can't hear me on YouTube. Let me see, let me see. If you can hear me, kindly let me know if you can hear me. If you can hear me, let me hear, let me know if you can hear me. I can, well, I can hear myself. <laughs> if you can hear me on YouTube, kindly let me know. Guys, do let me know if you can hear me. Oh, you can't hear me, right. Okay, I'm not quite sure if others can hear me, kindly let me know. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, um, Given says, I'm not quite sure if Given is a male or female, but Given says, you know, he or she can hear me, so. Yeah, because I, I do usually, you know, test it out. I, I do usually have YouTube on myself, you know, on a different um, browser just to see if I can hear myself. Yeah. Okay. So increase your volume, Patricia. Increase your volume. It's most likely um, from your end. Okay. Okay, so these are the pairs we have open. Um, I'll only be looking to enter the trade if the price breaks above or below on the pound USD. On Euro, Aussie dollar, it's gonna be a pound, the price breaking above these two areas. Same for the pound, the USD card. 
So the USD card seems like the one that is most promising so far. You know, um, Euro JPY, oh, is shooting off into the sky. I mean, I would most like, I would most definitely be waiting for a pullback, you know, to jump in that one. Now, this is the daily time frame. Let's see, guys. Let's see. This is the daily time frame. So today already is moved by whoa, what this is crazy. Now I'm wondering what is driving this news. I'm, I'm wondering what is driving this um, price today. You can see there at the top is done over 180 pips, almost 190 pips so far today. I mean, if anything, if anything, guys, let's see. If anything, look for a pullback very shortly. I mean, I mean, contending with this, look at where it is at. There's a week there. There's even a week, you know, before, just a few candles before. You know, but you don't just jump in because you've seen weeks to the left. You know, there has to be a proper reason for uh, making the price move. So that is a powerful move already on the Euro JPY. Now, now to be honest, to, well, to be frank with you, I missed the trade. I mean, because um, for those who are, I mean, it's not it's not a pair we normally trade using my indicator, you know. But if I was to use my indicator, it would have already given a signal. So, like I say, you know, for those who want access to the indicator. You know, do contact me and I'll let you know how you could lay hold on it. Right here. So Euro JPY. We might not get a pullback necessarily this morning. You know, but it's what waiting for a pullback. If it pulls back and pushes back up, then fine, we will jump in. We basically let the market come to us. We, basically, we let the market give us, um, tell us what it wants to do. Interesting, interesting move. You know, so really I won't be focusing on this pair Let's try the DAX. Let's try the DAX. <clears throat> Let's have a look at DAX. I love to trade gold as well, but um, Interesting. Hmm. 
Right, 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 right. So this is the DAX. I mean, um, when it begins to push up some more, then we'll be looking to probably buy. That's the DAX. You know, like I did say, this is the one that looks the most promising, which is um, the USD card. That looks most promising. So I'll definitely keep an eye on this Euro card, sorry, USD card. That seems like the one that um, we want to be selling. It looks like the one we want to be selling. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be selling this one. Let's wait for the close of this candle. I'll be looking to sell this one. I'll be looking to sell USD card. Yes, I am going to be selling USD card. One minute to the end of the candle, the close of the candle rather. Okay, so let's pull up the um, let's pull up the box. Uh, not quite. I don't quite like this. You know, but I'm selling now. I'm selling now, guys. Let's see. I'm selling now. So we just sold there. Let me get my position in. Okay, I've just sold that one. So we've just entered USD card for a sell. USD card for a sell. That's where we got in. Let's go. So at least TP1. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the my take profit levels are. This is USD card. I'll tell you where my take profit levels are. So with my strategy, with this strategy, you know, basically, you know, what I would use the higher time frames for, you know, what I would use the higher time frames for is basically for um, is for take profit and stop loss. You know, really for take profit and stop loss. you know, but not so much for entry. You know, like I say, you know, the direction is not, 
um, doesn't matter much to me, the overall direction as in using um, the higher time frames. But we're in this trade now. Let's see how it plays out. Let's see how this plays out. Uh, So that's the trade we are in. We've just sold USD card. Oops, 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 oops. Oh yeah. Uh, let's do it like so. So it's pushing down, hopefully to carry on pushing down. We've just sold USD CAD. You know, do click on the like button for me, guys. Click on the like button for me. So we are in, you know, it, it's uh, a risk to reward of uh, one, well, 1 1.5 R, you know, which means we are risking, you know, this much. So we are risking this much to gain this, you know, um, better than one to one. I mean, you hear people talk of, or you want to have a risk reward of uh, one to two and one to three and above and all that, you know, but the truth is it depends on the, the winning ratio. If you have a, a strategy that, you know, gives you a strategy or a system that gives you a high winning ratio, that is basically good enough. Now I'll tell you where TP1 is going to be. I mean, even though I have chosen, you know, um, even though I have chosen to have this as the take profit, even though I've chosen, chosen there as a take profit, you can see, you know, we do have, uh, we do have the target at least at 15 pips. So this is more or less like a scalp trade, if you like. You know, it's at least 15 pips. If you want it to, if you want to let it run, then fine. If you're able to get 10 pips out of it, that's fine. You know, but, you know, this is how far I am um, setting it for here. You know, so hopefully it's going to go hit our take profit. And that'll be a, a clean move. Right, yo. So we're at about six pips already. You know, by the time, you know, the, the, the um, by the time the price gets here, guys, you know, by the time the price gets here, I would say move your stop loss to break even, you know, just so that it doesn't then go back and you lose the trade, which you are already winning.
you know, do join the Telegram group if um, if you are new here, join the Telegram group. You know, like like I always say, I mean, uh, there are going to be times when you start the day and boom, not quite um, not quite thirty minutes, you get a, a signal or you get a trade, or perhaps even earlier. But there are times when we might not get, you know, a, a trade during our session. That's just the way it is. You don't just get into a trade for the sake of it. You basically have to wait for the price, you know, um, the price to come to you. Now, when we talk of price coming to you, that is basically the price coming to where you want to enter, you know, uh, the trade. You know, I mean, if you're not quite sure where you want to enter the trade before it happens, then it means you need to you know, work on getting a good strategy because you need to know, you're not going to say, oh, well, you know, when the price begins to go up, you know, I'll, I'll jump in. Or if it begins to go, no, that is no strategy. You know, that is just you banking on luck. You know, you just enter the trade and pray it goes in your direction. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You have to have a, a level at which you intend to enter the, 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 the mark, the trade. you have to have a level at which you want to enter the trade. Right, yo. Now, in the coming, in you know, um, hopefully by next week, you know, hopefully by next week, you know, I am going to be sharing with you, you know, um, you know, a good way to fund your forex account. Now, you find that a lot of people. One minute. You see, a lot of people actually, you know, start their trading with a very small amount. And, you know, if you're going to be waiting to, how do I put it? If you're going to be waiting to get, you know, um, a sustainable income from that, then you most likely have a long wait. That's the truth. You know, however, if it is a case that, you know, you want to start, you know, earning an income from trading, you do need to be able to fund your account. You do need to be able to, to have a, a reasonably, you know, um, sized account. You know, I always say to people, for instance, you know, um, I'll, I'll put, it this, put it this way. You know, a lot of people start with $50, you know, $20, 100 maybe maximum $200. Now, how are you going to necessarily grow that for it to become an income which takes care of your bills, which pays your bills? It's going to be a long wait, you know. So what I usually advise people to to do is to get a strategy, and then you could decide to you know sign up for a prop firm. I mean, if 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 there's a prop firm you want, uh, if you want to know of a, a good prop firm, you know, reach out to me and I'll recommend one. You know, otherwise you want some other source of income to use in funding your account. And one of the the, 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 um, the good way to do this is crypto arbitrage. You know, um, you know. So reach out to me, and I'll you know share a platform with you that you could use to basically you know double your account, 
double your, your capital in a very short time. I mean, talk of doubling your, your capital in a month, talk of doubling your capital in, 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 in 40 days, in less than two months. So basically, regardless of how much you start with, you more or less double it in less than two months. That is good. And that is without you having to take the risk, the risks that you would take in Forex. In Forex, we win some, we lose some. Like, like those of you who traded with me yesterday, we won one of our trades and lost the other. That's the way it is. But how about if I was to tell you that in crypto arbitrage, especially when a, a robot is trading for you, there is no, there's no chance of losing. I know that sounds strange. If you're used to Forex, if you're used to Forex trading, you know, that probably sounds strange. You know, there is no losing in crypto arbitrage if a robot is doing it for you. There is no losing. Now, guys, what I would say is, you know, with this now, I'm moving my stop loss, not to break even, but I'm moving it lower. I'm moving it to, I'm moving it lower, you know, uh, I'm not moving it to break even, but I'm moving it lower so that we are reducing our risk at this stage. We are reducing our risk at this stage. So move your stop loss lower. You know, so we now basically, are, you know, the risk to reward is now over 3.5. You can see that there. You know, because it has pushed lower, it has gone in our direction. So we are reducing our risk now to 3.5. 3.5 R. Okay, so like I was saying, I mean, um, crypto arbitrage is the way to go. I mean, you know, I, I, could, I, I could even begin to tell you here the amount of money that was made by myself and my team you know, uh, that has been made by myself, even this year alone, it, it goes into thousands. You know, I did say to some of them recently, members of my team, that okay, I did say to members of my team recently that, you know, for some of them, you know, it's not going to be so much seeing hundred, tens of dollars in their account, I mean, in their bank account. You know, by the end of this year, they'll be seeing hundreds. For others who currently have hundreds in their account, hundreds of dollars, they're gonna be seeing thousands. Yeah, absolutely, because of the, the power of crypto arbitrage. You know, being able to you know, invest, I call it an investment, it's not trading as such, it's not trading. You know, you can trade crypto, buy and sell, just like we do, you know, Forex, CFD, you know, but you can actually invest as well whereby you put your money in and it yields. It, it, it basically, you know, the robot, you know, buys and sells, not in the traditional way of buying and selling, but the robot does the actual buying and selling for you and you cannot lose. So reach out to me on Telegram and I'll let you have the details. Reach out to me on Telegram. Now let's look at our other pairs. Okay, we can see, this seems like, this is the DAX. It seems like it's been a fake out, broken out of this range, but it's come right back in. So it's good we didn't enter. How about this one? How about Euro, Aussie dollar? Okay, it's still doing its thing there. Pound USD. <laughs> so Pound USD is still stuck in that range. Euro JPY, we are waiting for a pullback. So this is the one we are in at the moment. We've moved our stop loss to break even. Let's, sorry, let's move it slightly here. So it's like a, a two hour risk to reward. Uh, that'd be risking about uh, risking less than 10 pips. I mean, when it was here, we were risking about 10 pips, you know, but I will keep it at, you know, run about eight pips now, you know, which is like two R.
Okay, so let's leave that as, as let's leave it as it is. I mean, I'm not quite sure if we're going to get any other, you know, trade during this London session because um, the market moved powerfully during the moved powerfully during the the um, the, the the European session, or if you like, the Frankfurt session. You know, there is a difference. You can actually break the Frankfurt session and you can actually break the, the separate the, the early morning session into the, the European session and the London session. Or if you want to call the European session, the Frankfurt, fine. Hi, good morning, Suleiman. Good morning, guys. Good to have you. So this is the trade we are in. That's the trade we are in for a sell. That's the trade we are in for a sell. Okay, so I'll, I'll be finishing in about, um, about 10 or 15 minutes. The thing is, once we've entered the trade, there is no, it's pointless having to wait, you know, um, to just linger here for nothing. You know, like we see the other setups have not played out. But if I do get a trade, I would post it in the Telegram group. If I do get a trade, I'll post it in the Telegram group. So it's just um, more or less a scalp trade today. Now, now guys, if, if you are scalping, I mean, you know, sometimes I, I know you, you might have seen people on YouTube and Instagram and all that who basically, you know, stack their trades. You know, I mean, if you if you got a good strategy, then you could you could you could stack your trade, but you have to be experienced enough to do that. I mean, stacking your trade basically means means entering a lot of positions. So if, for instance, like we have here, we're only targeting about 15 pips, you know, if you were to enter two positions, it means it would be 15 times two, which is um, 30. If you were to take three positions, it would be 15 times three. Yeah, 15 times three, which is 45, so on and so forth. But I would not usually encourage you to stack trades if you are new to trading or if you have a small account, especially, I would not advise you to do that. You know, um, you know like, like it is now, I have only entered, you know, um, just a few positions. I've only entered a few positions and that's the way I would do it. I mean, that's what's safe to do, guys. You know I mean? When you see people stacking their trades on Instagram and on social media and they have big wins, guess what? It means when they lose, they lose big as well. Now there are some guys who do it very well, you know, some, some traders who do it very well, they are experienced, you know, do not try, you know, some of the things you see online, if you are not skilled enough, or if you don't have enough funds.
So, I mean, still, we are still going to be mindful of um, the pound related pairs, you know, because the, the, the new UK prime minister is going to be seeing the queen today and she's most likely going to be saying, giving us some more details with regards to her new government, her plans, her minister, uh, members of the cabinet, and that could move the market. So let's be mindful of that, guys. Let's be mindful of that. Let's be mindful of that. Now, the thing is you might, um, like I say, I'm not moving my, my stop loss here. I'm not moving my stop loss. I mean, otherwise, you know, you might think of moving it to that high, but no, that'll be risking too much. This is where we enter, that's our stop loss. I'm leaving at that. If we were to move it higher than that, that would be risking, you know, 25. That would be like a, that's, that's worse than one-to-one. -one. I don't want to do that. You know, so the price, the um, the price is going in the opposite direction. Hi, good morning, good morning, guys. I'm still here, just uh, just a little distraction. Just, I am still here. So just a minute, guys, I'll be, I am here, but the camera and the audio, the microphone will be off for a minute or just a few minutes. I'll be back shortly. I'll be back shortly.
Okay, okay. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to attend to something. But we have the, we have taken a loss on this one. We've taken a loss on this one. That's uh, about an eight, eight pip loss. You know, eight pip loss on that one. And um, now, frankly speaking, I mean, I'm not keen on entering any other trade just now. You know, um, you know, like I say, these are ranges which I would want to avoid. I mean, with this one, that was uh, with this USD card. Let's see. With the USD card, this was pretty much the range. This was pretty much the range we're considering. You know, that's uh, here. And you can see the price is still in that range. You know, so I wouldn't, you know, be trading that, you know, just yet. You know, uh, with this one, the price went out, which was a fake out, came back into the range. That's the DAX and the Euro New Zealand is still in that huge range. It is a huge range. Nevertheless, I mean, you would most likely, you, you can see it better, you know. I mean, if on the five minute, on the five minute time frame, you might not so much see the left hand side here, but you know, you can see it's a huge range. But if you begin to come to higher time frames like the 15, you can see it is a range. You know, obviously it's, it becomes even more clear on the 30 and higher. It's a range I would not have wanted to trade. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be trading that until price goes out of it. Okay, I mean, uh, coming back to the card, if we go to the 15, you can see, you know, the range there. On the 30, you can see it becomes clearer as a range, you know, so, uh, the fact that I place it, I place my chart on the five minute, and that is what you see most of the time. You know, I have considered, you know, what is where the range is. So I won't be trading any of this now. Um, with the pound USD, okay. I mean, the pound USD seems to have come out of the range. You know, but I would have to be. I want to see the market make a decisive move that it, it does want to go down or go up. You know, the, the move to me is not decisive yet. The move to me is not quite decisive yet. You know, hence, you know, um, me not getting into it for now. You know, but we still have all, all morning. And um, obviously we have uh, the New York session. So we'll see how price plays out, you know, during the course of the day, the course of the morning and during the course of the day before jumping in, you know, before jumping into any trade. So let's leave it for today, you know, but, you know, keep an eye on the Telegram group. I'll be looking to post anything that I find in the Telegram group. You know, so let's call it a morning, guys. And, you know, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I'll let you know on, in the Telegram group if I'm going to be on here tomorrow. There are going to be some things I need to um, clarify, you know, as per my schedule, you know, um, for the rest of the week. You know, definitely I won't be here on Thursday. I'm not going to be here on Thursday. I have um, an engagement on Thursday, you know, but most likely I'm going to be here on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Okay, guys, have. Uh, a beautiful trading week. If you took this trade with me and you've lost one, be mindful of you know further trades. You don't want to overexpose your account. You know, for me, the way I normally do it, once I've taken two consecutive losses, I call it a day. You know, it just is good for it's good for the psychology. It's good for um, you know because you don't want emotions. You know, when when trading, you don't want you want to you want to trade with as little emotion as possible. And when you have taken, you know, two losses, you can be sure that your emotion will set in. You know, so that's basically why I will not be taking any more trades today. Okay, guys, catch you tomorrow.